grade one, I find drawing is a great way for them to show their understanding because a lot of them, their writing's not so strong. So this one's a nice example because the child has drawn. And then I would encourage them to add labels and things to their drawing. Some words and some arrows to show. So the water evaporating, making a cloud, the cloud makes rain, and you know, showing the sun. Even as a baseline, I might have them do a drawing at the beginning and at the end. And that one as well is lovely. I love the pictures that are embedded in the cycle rather than a scene just the big circle with all the different parts going around. But I would always sit with the child too and have them tell me about it, you know, because I know there's gonna be more that they can tell me than what they can show. We boiled a kettle of water and we um, saw if um, the water went away and there was fewer water in the kettle because the water turned into steam. And steam is like just little pieces of water. Like when you cook mm -hmm. and you and you leave it for a long a long time and and then you find no water. It's not like your cats drink it, it just evaporated. That's a great word, evaporate. I bet you know the word, but what do you understand? What does evaporate mean? It's a put ice in something hot and it turns into water and then goes into steam. Okay, so the ice goes to water and then the water goes to steam? And how do you think that happens? Because, like, ice melts from hotness and ice, if it melts, it turns into water and water turns into steam in hotness. Okay, so you think that it, there has to be some heat for the water to turn to steam? And if it's outside, like a big lake or something, then the steam makes clouds. Hmm, and there's some of... more water. The water comes down and makes it rain. It makes more water, and then that water evaporates. It makes a cloud that makes that water, and it just keeps on going. It's called the water... Cycle, right? And often cycles, we show a cycle in a circle.